Hey, welcome back everybody. So again, I'm Curtis and this is Allen Family Farms. Welcome. Um, you know, I, I didn't really touch much on my zero turn mower and uh, I just kind of mentioned I had to go get one because my other one broke uh, or my other mower broke and I had a lot of cutting to do and such. And I, I do have the, uh, the brush hog, brush hog, whatever on the, um, on the tractor, but it's kind of hard to get around the trees with the sprinklers and all that kind of stuff or with the irrigation and everything. So I figured, let me get a zero turn. Um, that way someone else can actually drive it if I help up here um, instead of the tractor and stuff. And it's a little easier to get around the trees and everything. So, um, so I got one and you know, it's, I got, I got the, uh, I got this thing here, the icon that, uh, Arians or whatever, Icon XD 52 inch. You know, my review of it, well, I like it. It's okay. It's on level. That's weird or uneven. Anyway, I like it. It does okay. Um, you know, I've had some flat tires. Um, if y'all are seeing this here, this is my, this is my hang up with it. The belt. Um, so, you know, I have, I, this is my first belt that I broke and I, I don't know, I've had to, it's, it's come off so many times. I, I only have, let's see, I only have 13 hours on this thing. And out of 13 hours, I've probably had to put the belt on about 20 times. It just, I mean, I get it started. I, I, I've actually gone right over here, just heading right outside the door, start cutting and bam, the belt pops off. So I have to bring it back in here, put the stinking belt back on, and then try to run again and bam, the belt comes off. And I have to bring it back in here. I don't know. So I, I took it back, I got it from Lowe's. I took it back over there, I said, hey, this thing's a piece of junk and I, I, I want my money back. They said, oh man, it's been like 38 days or something. They only do 30 days. He said, but call the manufacturer. They've been pretty good with our customer service. So I said, okay, fine. So I went and called the manufacturer. I said, hey, this thing's a piece of junk. My belt broke finally. And I spend more time trying to get the belt on and messing with it and, and anything else. You know, and I personally, I've looked, you figure it's a tensioner or something like that. So I looked at the tensioner, looked at all that stuff. And I just can't get it to, uh, it's a spring tensioner. And I don't see any way to tighten the tension or whatever the case is. So. I don't know if, I don't know if it needs a different spring, but hey, it's a brand new mower. Should, it should be fine, I, I would assume. So anyway, I called, I called the manufacturer. They're very, very, very nice. Um, actually it was the customer service. Um, very nice, very responsive, um, very friendly. And um, it was actually really quick to get them on the phone because I, I hate calling places and having to wait on hold and transfer me to this place and transfer me to that place. But no, I called, bam, the lady took care of me right away. So I appreciate that. Absolutely appreciate it. So um, they got it registered for me because I didn't register it. And then they said, hey, yeah, just take it to a place. Um, they gave me a location, which is actually the same place I bought my tractor from. So I know the place, I like it. So I'll take it down there and uh, see what they say. I haven't spoken with them just yet, but I've worked with that place before. So I am very comfortable going back there. Um, but so, so far I could say that, that these gnats are bugging me. But so far I can say that customer service is great. My only problem with this mower is the belt. And I would like to think that it's gonna be a very simple thing to fix um, with tension. Uh, maybe it's proper, proper tension. Maybe there's something out of alignment that's making the belt come off. I don't know what it is, but um, I'm hoping that they can um, get it fixed pretty quickly. I will definitely come back and let y'all know uh, my experience with uh, not so much the company that's gonna fix this because I already know them and that has nothing to do with the mower itself. But I'll come back and let you know the problems that were found if they hopefully find something um, and the remedy and all that kind of stuff. But so far, ease of working with customer service has been great. Um, you know, other than, the, other than the belt popping off, I do like the mower. It's really easy to use. Um, the engine, it has the Kawasaki engine on it. So, um, I mean, I, I like this thing all in all. You know, I would like to have a little tow hitch. Another thing I wanna do is extend this. They sell a, a bar that's a lot higher but it's really expensive. It's like $500 or something. So me and my little Lincoln over there, what I'd like to do is just cut this and extend it with a little bit of an angle on it. 
um, unless this can extend up and that's loose, but um, either extend it from down here. I mean, excuse me, either adjust it from down here so it's in a different angle um, or when I'm welding my piece on, have it welded over in a little bit of an angle. But so come up here and then come over, I'll have a, uh, it'll almost be like the, the rollover protection system, the rocks on the, on the tractor, but on here. And then from there, I can get another, um, a, a cover and put a cover on it. So that's what I'd like to do. Um, and hopefully that'll, that'll work. This one, it kind of, man, this thing has been limping around quite a bit. It's been, it's been beat up excessively. Um, it's my craftsman. I've had this thing for a very long time and, uh, you know, it's, it's done good. The problem is probably it's all my fault. I left it out in the rain a lot. And, um, you know, I, I tried messing with it last year, got it running, had to change the coil, the solenoid, the starter solenoid, the battery, a whole bunch of things. And then I got that thing purring like a kitten. And then, uh, I don't know, this year I tried starting it up and it was dragging like, it would barely even start. So, um, but it did start when it finally started run. But then uh, I took it out in the field and bogged it down and it died and I couldn't get it to start again. So I don't know, it has a lot of rust on it. So I don't know if maybe something's not charging a battery and it's a battery issue or it's maybe my solenoid's not getting enough ground on it. I don't know what it is, but I do want to fix it again because I mean, other than whatever the issue is, that's the only problem with it, you know, and a flat tire here and there, but I got, I got an air compressor. Anyway, so that's enough rambling for me. Um, just a short video. Um, you know, look, I appreciate everyone still watching this, the new subscribers. I appreciate everybody out there. Um, thanks for the support. Um, still got a lot of stuff going on here. Um, a lot of new, exciting things. I have a lot of things in the works. Um, I'm pretty excited about it all. Um, and, uh, it's just all coming together as soon as I can get <laughs> all the infrastructure here put, put in place. So, um, still going to stay very, very, very busy, get a lot of things done. Um, I have some help coming up here, um, kind of regularly and I, I, gosh, I appreciate it so much. I get so many, so much done. Um, and it really, it really speeds up the process. Uh, it gives, gives me someone to talk to. I usually talk to this little critter, but you see, that's most of the, the view I get. She's just walking away from me, but I don't know. Maybe my breast stinks or something. Who knows? But anyway, again, I'm gonna let y'all go. I appreciate it. I got to load up the trailer and all that kind of stuff and get out of here. So I've got a lot of things to do. So, um, until next time, talk to you later. Bye.